I know you can make it. I know you can make it. I know you can make it. Look, Donald Trump isn't as bad as they say he is. Really only trying to make America great again. The Bible's just a book for people scared to be atheists. Did we land on the moon? I mean, maybe they faking it. The earth could be flat, the presidents could be aliens, and Americans might even be nicer than Canadians. Unpopular opinions got us caught up in the craziness and hating one another, but we're all just homo safety. Someone's always gonna hate you no matter what. Might as well just be yourself and let people think you suck. Opinions are like bubbles, everyone got one they cover up, and now you got I do is follow through when you yell and you don't give up. I ain't letting anyone piss in my cornflakes. Stay the hell on my face and I will stay out of your way. I know that life is cruel and lately it ain't fair at all. You hate your job, your phone is lost, there's evil men and racist cops. Yeah, I don't care if you're black or white or gay or straight or older, young or smart or dumb or where you're from or what you make. The only thing I care about is living like I'm not afraid of dying while I'm sleeping. So I seize it while I'm still awake. We're so angry. Maybe the feds killed Biggie and Pac Maybe the Ku Klux Klan just needs some love and a hug Maybe 9-11 really was an inside job And the Christians are right, homosexuality's wrong Or the Illuminati really want the best for the people And abortions are murder, so they should just be illegal So I don't know, that's all I'm saying These opinions drive us crazy Got us fighting so much lately, we're divided from our neighbors Someone's always gonna hate you no matter what Might as well just be yourself and let people think you suck Opinions are like buttholes, everyone got one they cover up And all you gotta do is follow through when you yell and it, you don't give up. I ain't letting anyone piss in my cornflakes. Stay the hell out my face and I will stay out of your way. I know that being you is harder than it sounds. You're the only one who can, so be you and do you proud. Yeah, I don't care if you're black or white or gay or straight or older, young or smart or dumb or where you're from or what you make. The only thing I care about is living like I'm not afraid of dying while I'm sleeping, so I seize it while I'm still awake. We're so angry. Everyone a butt head, everyone end up dead, everybody upset, everybody blood red, everybody feels like no one cares. Everything is fucked up, everything is tough luck, I have had enough dumb, everybody shut up, everybody thinks that life ain't fair. Shut up! We're so angry! so angry hating everyone we don't know we can't even take a joke we should really let it go let it go though and be happy stop talking on our phones i'm blocking everyone we know we've been being buttholes all right welcome 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 action where do these moves come from I don't know what that was. All right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> how's everybody doing? Hey, er, there he is. How are you, buddy? Hey, what, what's going on? How you doing? Goose is late as usual. So, uh, how's everybody? All right. Let me. I'll uh, up the slack for Goose. Yeah. Let me bring in the. He's probably getting quick. another vaccine. He's probably <laughs> getting another vaccine. You gotta give him some slack. All right. Uh, All right so. Let me get these stations real quick. I want to welcome 105.7 The Phase, Patriot Radio, Art Radio, MBR, Military Broadcast Radio, UG Media, J. Parker Radio, Paisley Radio, FCM Live, Sword Radio, Crystal Radio, and the Hit Network. All right. How's it going? So I had a question for you. Yes, sir. I had a question for you. Uh, Did you see the TikTok video uh, that there was, they had a steamroller who was smashing all the Bud Light cases? right no i didn't see that and it had a cool country song on it and i have it downloaded i have the video downloaded with the music 
But I don't know how I can get it to you because that's what probably too large to send on Skype or whatever. You know what I mean? I can send it through uh, so, the email. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But the music is cool, and if you can find that whole song, that would be an awesome song to to play. <laughs> you, you know the name of the song? <laughs> um, doing what? Doing what we gotta do, or whatever, something like that. I'll have to look it up and see. I can check it and out. It's, uh, just look up the tech. You can look up TikTok too on the video for the uh, steamroller smashing the Bud Light cases. <laughs> People were like freaking out. <laughs> Emily, welcome. The Eric, that, welcome, welcome. The, Me the and one, Joe, welcome. The Sorry. ones like myself. Raccoon. Didn't I don't care either way. I, I was enjoying the beer cans being smashed, but that was kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, you I see, uh, Bud Light, and, uh, Bud Light's trying to make up for their mistake. They put out this uh, patriotic video, yeah. but you know, I mean, it's a little too late for that shit. <laughs> you know, I, I, I did think the song late, was good, though. You know, so I don't know if you can get that song and play it. The whole thing. I I know the video is like a shortened version of it. I think I'll have to check it out. So, and see. Uh, but yeah, um, I thought you'd like to know that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Bud Light. Uh, if they make make small breweries great again. <laughs> Raccoon. Yeah. Well, they're doing that. They keep doing shit like that. They're, they're going to make everybody else very happy. Uh, all the other breweries that are out there. I mean, you realize you know, Budweiser. <laughs> Budweiser has so many shoot-offs from Budweiser. You know, it's not just you know the, right. the Bud and Bud Light. I mean, they got they got a few other ones that I didn't even know they ha they owned. Um, so when you're boycotting them, you got to make sure you're boycotting all of them. They go from one of their beers to one of the yeah. ones you don't know it's theirs. You can go start drinking that one. Um, right. Oh, man, I forgot to turn the video on. Sorry, people. On that, that happens when you have so many people, you know, you're not supposed to have monopoly, but, you know, yeah. do you have any clue how many people actually do have monopolies in businesses? They're not going to admit it, yeah. but they don't call it a monopoly because of the functionality of the connection with the other business, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, you know. You... So, so like, if you have, you, you have different cell phone companies, you know, connected to each other, which mm -hmm. that shouldn't be happening. You know, but yet there are other phone companies that are all connected to each other, and we don't know that. Yeah, until yeah. You, you think you're, it you think you're like, switching from one to it to get away from one, and you end up going back to them just <laughs> under under a different name. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, right. And it's uh, you're you're just feeding the same problem that you're trying to get away from. Yep. Yep. So, and like Raccoon said, hey, you gotta got to do your phone. research. Yep. Yeah, I got a new phone. Oh, all right. what kind of phone did you get? I broke down, and I, I'm going to be spending the money on payments. <laughs> uh, you get the a... S23 Ultra. Oh, there the you tank. go. Yeah, that's had a nice one. one. That's a nice one. One terabyte, one terabyte internal memory. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so I won't have any problem with running out of storage. Well, they did that because um, I, I, when they had the other ones, you could put the extra card in there to get you more. Uh, right. More, but then they did there's away no, with that. No, yeah, they did away with that. So now, now they had to make the, yeah. you know, people got used to that. So they had to make a bigger but, storage. I think with the right person running the phone, I could probably, or this phone could probably fly a rocket ship, seriously. <laughs> it has that much stuff on this thing that you didn't have. If somebody knew the technology, how to do it. Yeah, I have the, uh, phone I have a Samsung also, but I have the, I have the Z3. Um, the fold one. I okay. Like yeah, I like it. Uh, yeah. It's nice. Yeah, see, I, I'm going to keep my other one. I was going to trim my other one in, and I thought, oh, why not? I'll just have two phones then. No biggie. <laughs> well, it must be uh, nice to be rich. You know? hurt. You can afford two phones. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, just added another line for a few dollars a month. It ain't that much. <laughs> so, yeah. my, I've, I've been with how much was the how like, much How much was the phone? The phone, I got it through Samsung, actually, on the financing, believe it or not. I got approved for financing. I was, like, shocked as hell. Uh, and uh, so I, apparently my credit score is good. They're, right? like, they're like, what, 1200 uh, bucks? No, no. 
and there's sixteen hundred dollars. Yeah, sixteen. Yeah, because I paid. Guy. I paid for my Z. My Z three. I paid like two thousand. I think. Uh, yeah, phones yeah. are getting freaking expensive, so, man. Uh, let me see what well, else. Uh, the the camera on this thing. Camera has a zoom to it, like two hundred megapixel for the zoom. Yeah. Let me. Uh, so I'm sitting here in my chair. And I'm look. I'm looking at my tree in the front yard. I can zoom in <laughs> on the tree, and I can see little little bugs on you know like ants and things on the tree. It's like, holy crap, this thing's amazing. Yeah, it's a good camera. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's got a good camera on it too. Yeah, Samsung. Uh, you know, I like them. I've been Samsung for a long time now. Uh, let me read what Eric wrote yeah, here. Yeah. Hang on a second, Eric. Uh, yeah. Donald Trump Jr. may no. have misstepped in saying something, and I may not know what his exact words were, so I have to paraphrase. A boycotting Anheuser Bush over the whole debacle, including all the, I don't know how to say that name, and a non a non trans Yeah, it's the way, to, uh, isn't the way to go. I, I think we beg to differ and boycott ambush, ambush, Anheuser Bush, but. Excuse me, breweries maybe a perfect sensible thing to do, and they need to experience financial loss. And I think they are. I I, I think I, I think they are yeah. experiencing some uh, some quite a bit of loss. I think. Um, there's Goose. Welcome, buddy. Uh, what up? But I mean, I mean, like we yeah. need to boycott every freaking body, not just them. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, well, we're talking about because they what they did with them. Fucking transgender. I know, bullshit. I know. Um, hey, did you get the latest update on the vaccine? <laughs> no, just kidding. Go <laughs> yeah, hey, Goose, uh, Earth said you were out getting the new booster shot there, so that's why you were late. Hey, Earth, there's no freaking booster anymore. <laughs> the only time you get the booster now, you get the monkey shit. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, no, I I just got the you know, two two regular ones that they offered, and that was only due to my healthcare workers saying that I should. And then um, after I did it, you know, the the second one I got, I told her this means I don't I won't catch it, right? And she said not necessarily. And I thought, well, I ain't gonna get any more shots then. <laughs> yeah, Eric, I saw that. So, um, I, I saw that. Yeah, it is a joke. I mean, you know, I used to like Drew Barrymore, but when she did something stupid like that, yeah. Uh, well, I know. they're making this yeah. they're making this guy out to be like some kind of hero or something, you know, and I don't understand it. I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me, Goose. You know, it uh, don't make sense. Today, the guy who supposedly leaked all that information through his freaking Xbox or whatever he was using. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. They suspended they freaking court him because they don't freaking know what's going on. They don't even know now it was him who made that freaking leak. These people are so freaking oh, crooked man. that they don't know what's going on. Because where did I mean, where where would that kid get all that information? You know what I mean? According to some sources, to that shit got sent really to him. To huh. Yeah. That thing got sent something to him know. by somebody else. Yeah, to, so they can make yeah. him the patsy. The... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, sounds a little but fishy to me. To okay. Hey, raccoon, welcome Guy, to the show. This is our own serious business. Look at what's going on. Another six member, number six member of the freaking Biden family are involved in that bank, banking deal where they're making all the freaking money. They got millions and millions of dollars. That's just coming out. Yeah, yeah. And the government, the DOJ, the FBI, they haven't moved forward to charge this guy, but they move forward to charge our patriots, January 6th. They move forward to charge our former president, and they will move forward to charge you freaking ass too, whoever is listening, yeah. if you do something wrong. Yeah, you're okay? Right. You're right. Yeah. This is what's going on with our freaking yeah. governments today. They're out of control, uh, spending all our freaking money. Guys, it's not going to affect you. It's going to affect you kids and the kids of your kids. So get out of your four point of contact. What I mean, you ask, and I start, start doing something for your country. Talk to your neighbor. Talk to even your freaking dog. Let him know what's going on in our country today. <laughs> These people are destroying our country. And you were talking about transgender. They took oh. over our country. They took over. 
They hijack okay. a freaking agency, our sport, a freaking media outlets. They're all over the place. Yep. Now you're right, dude. You're right. So what I want to ask you is, is guy, guy, and I haven't finished yet. So hang on, uh, was, hang on, Raccoon. We 20... hang on, hang on, er, uh, Raccoon. Were you trying to say something? Yeah. Because if you are, we we can't hear you. He's got, no. yeah. yeah, we can't hear you, Raccoon. You're, you're like really breaking up big time. Like you're in the Matrix there, dude. <laughs> that he tried to put window. <laughs> uh, well, I was going to say the guy that got busted for the week. Okay, he was only 21 years old. Now, let's see. Um, Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah. yeah, we got you. All right. Okay, what I was getting ready to say was by the time you get done with all these crooked people who have swindled millions from everybody or billions and trillions, there'll be slave reparations, reparations for all the modern day slaves, the people. Yeah, no, you're right. And you and I get to pay for that. How do you like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I, and I, I, I don't hear when the slavery was around. Yeah, exactly. None of us were here with the slavery. I'm talking about. I, I'm talking about the slave reparation, uh, reparations for all the people who's had to work like dogs all their lives, and pay taxes for shit that we weren't even dogs, involved you know, with right. or didn't benefit from. Right. You know, we give billions and I trillions away three. to other countries that hate us. Oh, absolutely. I, mean, I once had three jobs. I had, I had two part-time jobs and one full-time job. <laughs> yeah. Hey, just to let you know, just to make it clear, and you think I'm freaking joking. I'm not freaking joking, okay? This is the freaking war against white people against white people, okay? It is. The A war against white people against white divide, people. They are the one dividing, dividing our country Moving this movement for reparation, you gotta check the root cause who's doing it. Of course, you're gonna offer me five million dollars if I follow you. Stay, I will. <laughs> That's what they're doing. I mean, they 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 they're getting this group of people activists to go with that freaking shit about reparation. All the all the many shit that's going on today in our country, and they're dividing us. Keep dividing us. Most they freaking minority don't give a shit about that. We don't. Yeah. It's just these hey, people with money. Hey Goose, you know right, we cool. we played the we played the part when we were in the military going to to bullshit wars and stuff. Or then you ain't right, Raccoon. Of the you ain't com right. Complex. They didn't care about who got killed and who survived. Nope. You know, I mean, you had to fight for your rights that they swore to when you signed an oath to them. And now they're sitting there just tearing the system apart because they don't know what to do. And the only thing they can think of is divide the citizens against their races, which is bullshit because there's only one race on this planet. It's called the human race. We're all brothers and sisters. And exactly. And exactly. We're in the year 2023 and they come with this bullshit now, 2020 to 23. Look at it. It's this fucking idiot criminal who are stealing our money. That motherfucker got more than $100 million on his bank. How? How'd you get that fucking rich? <laughs> he probably got two or three trillion in there because he's been playing the game with the oligarchs around the world who control the money. You know, Rothschild said it when he first started loaning out money. I don't care who the government is, I don't care anything about the countries. I control the money. I control the countries. Yeah. That's why China, I mean, didn't you watch, read that China leak about Black Ukraine? Rock. Yeah. Did you see that leak about where the Pentagon briefed the White House and say, we, if nothing we can do, Ukraine won't be Russia. But then yeah. the State Department, they go on, go on TV say, Ukraine is doing a great freaking job and it's going to take <laughs> Russia. Bullshit. Always lying to the American people. 
That's their way. Oh, and people don't realize we have American soldiers fighting in Ukraine. Yeah. They probably yeah. labeled as Dan as Raku, like you're they right. were in the early days of Vietnam. Murray, did I say this in the show many times? Most likely we're there fighting right now. Mm -hmm. There's no way those mother flowers can go ahead and operate a freaking tank, a goddamn $50 million. They, I don't think they had the knowledge to do that in one or two days, but we do. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, we send our operators there, special forces, to train them, and they involved there too. You know that raccoon. That's how we do shit. Yep. <laughs> who saw the Who saw the news about they want to bring back the draft and they want to include the children of the service members that are serving? At this point, you know, in other words, if you're a child of a service member, you're automatically basically registered for. Er, well, all, all men, all men. Um, this well, is going to end long they... before the draft gets reinstated. Guys, yeah. if you, if you, one of those guys who read the Bible, go to Revelation. You don't see United States anywhere there, okay? So somehow they know that we won't be a country anymore, and maybe what these idiots are doing to our country. It's the freaking beginning of our total destruction as a country, as a power. Okay. Economically and militarily, we are done right now. We are done. Well, and a country with that good military and not a good economic status, they're going nowhere. We're a third world country, like the Salvador, Salvador president say, United States, you are worse than a third world country. He said that the other day, and he was right. Yeah, you also look at the news. Hey, Goose, we are modern-day Babylon, and Babylon yes, must thank you, fall. Michael. Yeah. We, we run all the wars in every country in this Dagon world. We're involved in every one of them. And without us, none of those wars would last very long at all. And they want us to be there so the military complex can make the billions for all the oligarchs and all the millionaires and shit. All them people are... are Basically, you could say they're all involved in crimes against humanity because they did it for their own lust. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah, gonna... Now, <laughs> all of our cities, or all of our democratic cities are out of control. They don't give a shit about our kids. I'll give you a good example. Chicago, they pick the same freaking guy. The same mentality, maybe worse. Worse. Why? Because they don't care about the kids. They don't. It's about money. Look at the top 10 freaking crime city. They're all freaking run by freaking Democrats. All of them. Pay, pay by George Soros, another freaking criminal that he's still flapping around with all his money and buying every freaking body he can buy. Hey, Goose. Speaking of George Soros, did you look at uh, Bravo's um, Telegram page? He put out something about uh, George George Soros being uh, executed. I'm like, I, I just like really. You know Bravo. I know. Uh, I, I I I was hoping he's gonna come tonight so I can ask him about that. So he's listening. No, I don't see him in the room. Not yet. Anyway. But you know that's that's, I mean the guy just came on TV. I don't. I mean think about it. When Trump got arrested, next day, he came up or hours after Trump got arrested, and he say that he was not, not involved with with fat ass Arvin, and immediately. They track Arvin's supporter, and one of the main groups that support and give money for his campaign received like $100 million from George Soros. Come on. Yeah. We are not stupid. We know how you pipe all that freaking money through different organizations that we support you cause. Of course, he's behind. But why he was trying to say that he was not behind, Marek? That's intriguing. Why he got to come out like that? I agree. The guy's a Democrat. They're supposed to say they're not involved in it, but we all know they are. <laughs> Every last one of them. Well, yeah. Democrats don't yeah. make the Democrats don't make an excuse. They flat out. They're out of control. They tell you they are. They don't care. 
But this yeah. guy, first time he come out like that. Yeah, because I was going to say, he hasn't come out very often and say he's not uh, attached to something. I mean, you don't really hear too much from him. Um, yeah, but people ought to know by now, uh, Maverick, that, you know, when in the 60s when they voted for civil rights, none of the Democrats voted for it. There was like seven votes against it, and nobody else voted in the Democrat side, and it passed 176, I think it was, 178 to seven. Hmm. And these people think that the Democrats are for them because they give them things, and everybody likes free shit, and now it's time for them to dance, and that's what they're doing. They're dancing. They're out there doing what they're told. And doing it for freebie stuff, which is going to cost them anyway in the end. I mean, we have white people who feel ashamed and are fighting for Black Lives Matter. But all lives matter. Not just black lives, but all lives. Indians, the Dago and Puerto Ricans, the, the, the people who live here, their lives matter. Right. But nobody's paying attention to this shit because no. they put it on... Hot and heavy, but they add a little sugar to make it taste better. Yeah, yeah. Bro, you know what? This freaking transgender movement, they might going to say that we are against, <laughs> which we know that we don't give a shit you want to be transgender or not. But they're, they are at war with the feminists, man, with the, with the woman. Well, you know, exactly. the woman. It, 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 it is. You're, you're absolutely, I was just about to say the same thing. It's a war against women. It's yeah, it's a competition. Yeah. They're competing yeah. again. I mean, man, come on, give me a break. You know, it took so hard, so much time for the woman to be able to freaking goddamn vote. 1966, we had an act that passed that allowed women to vote. But before that, they were not allowed to vote. And many rights that they fought for, you know, they got it in this century. But this freaking transgender want to get everything in one day. They even want to have a baby, which that shit will never happen in the eyes of God, you know? And they're competing against our mother, sisters, and, you know, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Come on, they want to get every freaking thing. You're, you're, you're breaking up again there, raccoon. Yeah, we can't hear you, raccoon. Raccoon, you need to buy a better receiver. <laughs> Or better internet. <laughs> they don't have any feminists standing up for the for the women now. They're letting the men take over women's sports. Yep. Where did yep. their equal yeah, rights yep. go? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it's true. I mean, how and then we have all these ESPN, all these other people, they're a bunch of freaking haters, liberals too, to the left, to the fucking court. <laughs> Those guys gonna go to hell anyway, you know? So but they don't care about our country. I don't even look at ESPN anymore. I don't even even look at the NBA games anymore. That was one of my favorite freaking sport. Yeah, yeah it, it is. I, I got a freaking sour stuff. taste. I got five it's girls, all- you know, and I, I always tell my girl, you need to work freaking hard to become independent and for you make sure you go to college, get your education, do this, do that. Because somehow I felt like something was going to hit the freaking ground. And now we see it. It's an attack on women after they fought so freaking hard, a mothers and sisters being attacked by this freaking evil movement that was created by our own government. Yeah. Bunch of freaking haters. Hey, Goose, here's some Project good Mockingbird has, has, has made a victory, but look at this too. The war on drugs has not even been a win, lose, or draw yet. They're still wasting money on this crap. And as we're seeing, a lot of politicians have been involved in the drug trade of illegal drugs onto the streets. Cocaine Mitch, how about the Dagon governor of Arizona? How about the Dagon governor of California and New York? There's so much corruption that people don't want to see it because it scares them. People tell me all the time, I don't want to hear that. It, it, it gives me an uneasy feeling. I said, it should give you an uneasy feeling. I said, you need to belly up to the bar exactly. or take the ass whipping you're going to get. <laughs> exactly right. Hey, uh, let me read what Eric wrote in here. Um, when do white people get a whole month to celebrate our history? Uh, you have Black History Month, Women History Month, LGBTQ Month in June, and no month for whites, 
No months. Yeah, I mean, you got it freaking twelve months. Dad used to Stop be complaining. June, now it's taken over by <laughs> Indigenous Day. <laughs> hey, you got six months. I, what? We want twelve months? I, Dang! I, give me a break. I mean, well, hey, come on. Dude. How come we don't get a? Well, he's pretty. I mean, well, Goose, you don't care because you get a Hispanic month. Uh, you know, right along. I don't care. I'm <laughs> right American. I them. get 12 months. But, 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 I'm American. But where, where is American the... first. No, but I agree with what Ert's saying. I mean, he's saying, you know, who? Ert, Ert said this. That, hey, you know, hey, wake up, man. You you leave next to a freaking cornfield. Come on. <laughs> but I mean, he's right. It makes no about... difference where you live at. You should, <laughs> everybody should get their own day. I mean, exactly. come on. Hey, but go ahead. Poppy. Slacker 82 Alpha proclaimed the month of May will white, be. White people. No, I'm going to give you the June. June. I'm going to give you June. Oh, I no, forgot we that's can't a tribe month. We can't, yeah, we can't have June because they got Indigenous Day in there. And, you know, and whatever. And, and LGBT took over that one. So, you know, I mean, that's, yeah. that's screwed Father's Day right out of there. I mean, you know. Just, just remember, they, they're, they're, they're taking away Mother's Day and calling it Birthing Person's Day. Huh. That's what they're shooting for. Hey, yeah. you guys voted for that idiot I mean, in the this, White House. This crap now, just take it. No, you got two more. We didn't vote I, for I mean, that guy. our listeners, if you voted for that guy two years ago, please go to church and ask for forgiveness. <laughs> yeah, it's too late for that. <laughs> people who voted for Biden should be standing next to the gas pump giving free, uh, giving people free fill-ups. Repaying yourself, yeah, repaying exactly. yourself of the freaking sins that you committed and that was one of the biggest sins you committed yep. in your entire life voting for well, that freaking idiot well here goose i got revelation some... told us revelation told us to beware of false prophets and wars and rumors of wars yeah thank you yeah. and we had raccoon before election telling you not to vote for him <laughs> then i'm right around raccoon <laughs> All right. I'm yeah, here. Raccoon got, Day. Goose, I mean, I got, we have many times we have big argument. Me and Raccoon, I got and some, we talk about that. I got some good news for you. Yeah, today, but you know, you, you you finally came around, Goose, and started agreeing <laughs> with some of the stuff I had said long ago <laughs> when you got pissed off at me. <laughs> now, nah, then, Raccoon, I can't give you an inch because you won five. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. go ahead. Go ahead. Some good news go out up. of Florida. All right. The State yeah. Board of Education Wednesday voted to bar Florida, let's see, voted to bar Florida middle school and high school teachers from intentionally teaching students about sexual orientation, gender identity, unless the lessons are part of a reproductive health course or are ex expressly required by the state academic standards. Now listen to this. Teachers who do not, uh, who do otherwise, could be suspended or their teaching license could be revoked. How do you like that? Well, guess what? That's why I don't want the Santos to leave Florida yet. Yeah, I know. That's, That's why I want everybody shit. to. I'm starting embrace to. I'm, I'm starting to think the same way, Goose. I'm starting to. I'm, I'm starting to think your way on that. We cannot uh, we lose the Santos. This state is very important. Matter yeah. of fact, we got many blue state people that are moving here, yeah. and the first question we ask. Did you bring your freaking bag with you or you left it back there? Yeah. And they are, no, 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 I, I'm red. I'm red. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I, guys. Uh, yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. Just remember the, the, the parents who want their kids to change identity are either completely stupid or they don't like grandchildren. Or they got Think a mental it. disorder. Well, that's what I mean. Stupid is a mental disorder. <laughs> Ignorance can be taught back, but stupidity goes to the bone. To okay. the DNA? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, kind of like DNA, but <laughs> you, know, you, you can't convince stupid people how to do things without really, really re-educating them. No, you're the right. You things. And you can ignorant take people just, that they're just the difference between stupidity and ignorance is ignorance is you just weren't aware of it. Stupidity means that you're stuck in that hole and you well, can't get out of it. Raccoon, you can take the horse to drink water, but you can't force him to drink it. <laughs> so that's how it goes, brother. But the thing is, when you took all those masks out of the Antifa group, okay. All those idiots, all the idiots that believe in commun communists right now, they, they just came up with a new study. 48% of our college students believe that communists is a good way of, uh, 
or life. And I say, mother flower, why you don't move to freaking Cuba? Okay? It's Venezuela. gotta be bad. Or Venezuela. Venezuela would be better for them to, to, to take it because they're still, they're still in a world of hurt down in Venezuela. I mean, they're, they're worse off than Cuba is. You know what? When you put your kid in the boat for 90 miles through the Gulf of freaking Mexico, that freaking Gulf of Mexico is not a freaking joke. Through that landing, through all the freaking yeah. ocean, for 90 miles, Shark you alley. kid? Yeah. That means it's got to be freaking bad because I won't put my kid in a freaking swimming pool if I don't have to. You yeah. know? So you know yeah, it's it freaking shark, bad. They call it Shark Alley for a reason. Yeah. yeah. Well, if Trump win this election, he should pay everybody a free ticket one way if you want to leave the country to a communist country and give them $10,000. That way they don't suffer for the first year. Hell That's no. it. Why are you give them $10,000? Give them a boot no, in the ass. No, that way, you know, hey, that give way, him, give you know. A, give them a boot in the ass and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh, what we need to do is bring up those mechanics so we can show people how to rebuild the old cars and get rid of the new shit that we've got because it don't yeah. work. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I like no, new I stuff. I a raccoon. I mean, you don't mind. I don't like electric, but I I like my car. Well, you like your new car, but what I'm saying is you have a car. <laughs> I mean, some of those guys are running 1950s and 60s cars without windows because they can't get glass, but they're keeping them running. Exactly. And they're, they're taking parts from others and making their car continue on. I mean, people nowadays, it's a throwaway society. Yeah. Oh, I got to get rid of this car. I've had it for two Raccoon, years. Raccoon, for that, I just go ahead and buy me a freaking horse. Oh, come on. Goose changes his car every year. I mean, you know. He, he, oh, I know. He gets the new model it. every year. Goose and every, every one of them's got more luxuries in it. And when hey, that Dagon thing shuts down, he get, all he's going to do is sit Raccoon, there in his think about it. And enjoy the heat. Raccoon, <laughs> think about it. When they got the last stimulus check, you got $1,400 out of $1 trillion. Is that's a freaking insult, and then you have to yeah, pay that was, money back. It was. Where it was, is it? I, where, where's the money? And I, where? And I bought a couple of guns with it because the government <laughs> was telling me I didn't need them. Yeah, yeah. When the government tells you you don't need something, you need it. That's when they right, tell you you need right. something, you don't need it. Really. Right. Yeah. I, I I agree that we should have paid each family at least each family at least no less than three hundred thousand dollars. Well, but you yeah. knew that shit wasn't going to happen, no? I just dreaming. Jonah, but I just letting you know to be show. fair. They, yeah. they, they could have did it if they didn't want to send a billion dollars over to Pakistan to teach them not to throw gays off the building. And after class, they were throwing gays off the buildings. Hey, Raccoon, you you promoting, you promoting violence against gay people? Don't well, do I'm, that I'm not. Show, I, I'm no, just pointing totally out what the government did. We don't promote violence against the gay people. I'm not okay? promoting violence. I don't promote <laughs> violence. I don't promote <laughs> violence. But He's I do say, promoting. bone up on your knots because we're going to need them here pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Hey, uh, freaking goose won't be there. Okay, and, and Maverick neither, and Raccoon, I don't think he's going to be there. So you want to be in the Army to get you surgery? Bye-bye. Go defend our country. I say if a kid feels, if a boy feels like he wants to be a girl, something you seriously need to do is start giving that kid more food with testosterone in it. Exactly. <laughs> hey, Raccoon, exactly. that's got to be weird uh, that you get a guy in your squad and say, oh, what? be a girl oh my god <laughs> yeah I, 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 mean, when I had a son like that goose i would say just the same thing my dad used to tell me when i would get in trouble so i, I brought you into this world i can take you out <laughs> yeah. i've got a backhoe and an alibi you know i joined the <laughs> army i joined the infantry i sent the infantry most of my life uh, it's nothing better than the infantry because you tell them how it is, Raccoon, that I'm right wrong. Well, and, yeah, but and, you also have to remember you don't piss off the medic because you're going to come to mommy for a scratch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's how it was, man. It was no girls in that freaking platoon. Now, yeah. uh, people have to know that this thing wasn't going to work because when Clinton first took over, he made that thing, don't <laughs> yeah. ask, don't tell, whatever. 
and few infantry people joined in the infantry, few gates, and then when they got drunk, they exposed themselves, an uh, opening mm -hmm. saying that they're gay. So they, we have few incidents in the barracks where they got beat up big time by the infantry kids. And uh, it was uh, really bad. So they used to call that they used to call that a blanket party. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bar of soap and a wool sock. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and and it was pretty bad. These people, but these people don't care. Yeah. Like you got general, general merely need to be court martial and be sent to freaking Guantanamo, whatever they got. <laughs> that fat ass sold our military out in our country. Flat out, these military people that contribute to the destruction of our military need to go to jail. If you guys get the opportunity to, you know, to advise or make sure these people go behind bar, it'd be nice to see him going behind bar. It really sold out our country, our military, 200 plus year of history. God damn. George freaking Washington must be freaking turning left and right on his freaking tomb right now. He probably hook wire up to his casket and get electricity spinning so damn quick. Yes, it, it, it is bad. This guy really, I mean, when Trump giving a direct order to bring our troops from Germany back in our freaking country, and he didn't do it. That guy called the Chinese government, his counterpart, the Chinese general, to say, hey, don't worry about Trump. He's not going to do anything. I got it. Come on. That's treason. Did you guys forget about that? Hey, Goose, you also have to remember one of the admirals from the Navy is now uh, uh, something there in the cabinet. Looks yeah, like the hell. Dude the looks he like a lady. Yeah, the hell department or something. Yeah. Whatever it is. It, yeah. She looked like yeah. a freaking. I, I really don't uh, call manatee. it the health department, I call it the mental health ward. She looked like you a know, freaking manatee. Yeah, she looked like something. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on, man. I mean, look at those guys. You know it's something wrong when you know they dress like a woman. Come on. <laughs> Especially being that damn ugly. At least they could have took some of that retirement pay and, and got a facelift I and mean, made it look a little bit they better. Put the come uniform, on. They put the uniform. That's a disgrace for our country. <laughs> and like I said again, I mean, I don't have nothing against them, but when they start disrupting our country and doing things that they are doing and more attacking our women come on well, like that guy exactly lemon yeah. from cna they're, they're, they're forcing the agenda on everybody they're forcing it on everybody exactly say, and that's why you we address like me it. by my pronouns i say okay my pronoun is pit bull and they back away yeah joe you're right the freaking democrats they bunch of freaking monster you're right i agree and you see that lemon from cna yep. He called girl, <laughs> she's on her prime or she passed her prime. Give me a break, you freaking gay ass. You know, that's what he did. That's what they do. They attack women. That's part of Project Mockingbird, run by the CIA for years. And they said, oh, well, we don't want to call it that now. We'll just change the name slightly. But it's still the same operation going on. It's to make everybody believe the lie and nobody believe the real truth. I mean, so and they, in the movies, what we're going to do, but desensitize them at the same time. Yeah. At the same time that you are attacking the woman, you demonize yourself, you're yeah. transgender, because now you bring in, you are, you're bringing the attention to yourself when you're trying to compete with our ladies. It's no way, unless freaking raccoon is drawn, that he's going to hit that freaking ass because... <laughs> You know, it's no way. I don't see Raccoon pay attention to that stuff. More when he's freaking 90 years old. Hey, man, if I was 20 years old again, I can still tell the difference. Yeah. I know the shoulders. I know what the hips do. I know what the hands look like. Raccoon, let me ask you a question, Raccoon. Raccoon. What? One of the main issues that still remain open and we haven't heard any answer. If we don't reform our elections voting system, I don't think we're going to see another another Republican never in the White House. I agree. Yeah, if we I don't get rid of the if, if we don't get rid of the electronic voting system and we get people 
to hand count the votes on paper and do it right in front of you and put it on an official document that that has that has a chain of custody then we'll never see another real election it'll always be fake after the that Dominion just won a big settlement with Fox News. You saw that on the Yeah, news. they did. A big well, one. A big know. settlement. Well, they did, but <laughs> no. they're still in control of it. Well, another thing that came out, it was today the FHI, uh, uh, FHI, uh, FHI uh, how do you call that people from the housing department who give loans? Uh, F- they, FHA. FHA, yeah. FHA from uh, Freddie Mac and all those people, they were giving freaking free freaking money uh they were giving out when they're supposed to charge you 2.5 you're only charging 1.3 or 1.2 and wasn't taking the payment that's supposed to for people to buy houses so like when i bought my house i had to pay so much money to get their loan but these people are were not charged what they're supposed to and the Biden administration was the one who told those people to go ahead and do that, okay? Yep. Yeah. So high risk mortgage, uh, subsidizing yeah. high risk mortgage with you money and my money, raccoon. So anybody well, could get a freaking house for a penny. Let Let me tell you a little secret about that because I used to know a banker. He was the vice president of uh, J P Morgan Chase Manhattan. He worked with both of them. Okay. He told me the reason why they put high risk mortgages out. It's not because they just want to give people a, a term of credit. If they do keep their payments up, fine. But they're waiting for the son of a bitches to lose the, the house, house, lose yeah. the property, yep. and they take over the money or take over the, the property and make big bucks off of it because they're giving them high rent or uh, high rent, high risk mortgages in good neighborhoods. And they take it and they sell it for twice of what the damn thing's worth. And right secure, after that. they, they and control secure, the goddamn housing industry. Secure by the government. You're right. I mean, when Obama took over, and he uh, the calamity. <laughs> Bank, Bank of America, uh, Hawaii country, and all the banks, they did get a big fine, ten, twenty million billion dollars because what they did when they got the money. They're supposed to help the people that was on the water, but what they did, they bought a bad day with that money, so they got five billions of dollars. But when those banks paid the billions of dollars, raccoon, and, and follow me on this because you're right, raccoon, they use that money to promote the bullshit campaign shit when that money's supposed to go back to our freaking treasury. Not, not just that, not just that, but also. With the housing collapse in 2008, 2009, okay, that money that was paid into the mortgage companies like Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae, yeah, their yeah. subsidiaries that controlled them made billions of dollars. Well, remember, off the those are along government with all the major banks. Guarantee notes. That's the government guaranteed that note. I mean, that's how they make the money. And then they well, do yeah, a, a short sale. The government doesn't own anything. They only control. They're not supposed to own anything. Our our national parks are supposed to be free because that's the people's land. Washington D.C. is the people's land, guys. If you look but it's at not C-SPAN. because they sold the damn thing to the Rothschilds in 1871 for a new loan. It became Black a country cool. within a country. All the information is coming out. If you look at C-SPAN, go on YouTube, whatever you find C-SPAN, you don't have TV. It's all out there. They're doing all this hearing, and you're going to get sick. So it's better you have some medicine next to you because you're going to freaking puke when you see all the bullshit our government is doing. But because we don't pay attention, you don't know. But, of course, you got a slacker ready to alpha. We will give you the news and give you what's going on in our country today. Mm-hmm. If you, you get Bobby, sick at go. the information, <laughs> if you get sick at the information, don't go to the doctor. Get something for your belly ache. Sweat it out because all the medicine is poison too. Yeah, <laughs> and that's a freaking medic talking to you guys. Hey, yeah, yeah, I've done the research. I've been into those doctor meetings when they go up with the uh, 
with the drug reps to come in and, and push the new pills on to the hey, doctors raccoon. and replacing this with this because it's much, much better, but it doesn't do quite as good as the other, but it, it evens out. I was like, what the heck were they talking raccoon, about? Raccoon, you were a medic in the army. Do you ever encounter any transgender? Do you have to do <laughs> check his polls or... I mean, when he came to sit call, I mean, the come young on, raccoon was in the people. military. They were the only, they didn't come out. The only transgender I ever had to to talk to was one that was in school and as in uh, my my B thirty course. Okay, and I told him right off the bat, I said, "I know you're transgender. You you're just like my my mom's cousin." I said, <laughs> "Here's the <laughs> deal." I said. Keep your hands off of me unless I'm dying. <laughs> and if you have to do mouth to mouth resuscitation, you better not give me any tongue. <laughs> and after that, we were fine together. Freaking raccoon always telling how it is. <laughs> hey, I, I'm politically and socially unacceptable. Well, raccoon, I stayed there for 20 plus years, almost 24. And I never had that opportunity because I don't know how we react. I might tell the guy just let me. You'd be die. surprised. At, <laughs> you'd be surprised under command how many were gay and didn't say anything. I mean, we had a, a saying in in Bravo Company in one of my units I was in in the eighty second. How do you know when your roommate is cheating on you? <laughs> His pecker tastes like shit. <laughs> Okay, yeah. they caught him. They caught him one night, him and his roommate in there having it out in the room, and they forgot to lock the door. And the and the CQ was going down. Oh, the, the CQ got the him. Door checking the you know doing the door See, check. Make sure they're locked. Yeah, opened it up, and there they were on the floor. <laughs> Holy damn! Yeah, they didn't last long. It lasted about another week and a half. Oh yeah, you get chopped right out. away. You right yeah. away, you get chopped in those days. But not anymore. Anymore, you know what I mean? Now yeah. they, they give them medals, don't they? they give now it's common occurrence. They pro, no, they, now yeah. they promote you. Yeah, they promote you and give you a fucking medal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a common occurrence. Yeah. <laughs> Too well, much soy milk in the diet, man. Yeah, yeah this is soy milk. Yeah. This is what they do. And I was told. I mean, I retired in two thousand nine, but many of my friends just retired. And this is what they do. They join the service. Uh, the they first thing they do when they join the finish basic training, they go see a doctor. They send them to a psychologist, and he say, hey, I think I'm gay, and I want to change my gender. Right there, it's a red flag. They send him <laughs> for a freaking visit to a doctor, and they set up the surgery. Then he got to go every week to see the psychologist, and then they approve the surgery, and by the time they get everything done already, the contract expires. It's three years. They're ready to go back outside to society with the penal or whatever removed, and they are new citizen in the country. <laughs> now they're a hooker in the same money. town. They're, yeah. they're a hooker in the same town, right outside of the day going post. <laughs> and that's how <laughs> and that's how they do it. That's how they do it. Hey, hey Goose. Uh, let me welcome Corporal Bravo Klinger. Would really love to be here today. <laughs> uh, exactly. yeah. no. Where's Bravo? Bravo he's is here. scared to come to our show. No, he's here. He's on the I'm oh, right Bravo, here, Goose. Up? What are you talking about? Bravo, hey. Hey. We're talking Bravo about pickle smooches. <laughs> I'm pickle listening to you talk. You guys talking about those pickle smoochers. I hear you. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, uh, Maverick made a comment about you. What uh, Maverick, did you hear uh, Maverick talking about you? No, I no, must have. I must have missed that missed wonderful the, thing. He missed that one. Yeah, he, 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 oh. what, what, that was, was a good. What, what was I saying? That was a you? good comment. I know, I'm trying to remember what I was talking about. Hey, Jamie, are you here? Then Jamie's always late to our show. He just got here. He's here. Hey, Jamie, welcome. <laughs> hey, Jamie. Jamie's in the house. Oh no, yeah, we were talking yeah. about we were talking about Soros, and then when I said, "Well, on your on your Telegram page, you had it that George Soros was uh, executed," <laughs> and I said, "Well, yeah, we, that's we what they're ask, saying, isn't it?" We need to ask Bravo about that when he comes. Bravo, don't freaking say. Everything that you hear, because it might be yeah. False, the the ugly old man you see now is somebody with a mask. Come on, they're all masks, goose. They're all masks. 
<laughs> Hollywood oh, can make this. Like, remember, 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 like, like Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers. Come on, everyone knows he's a he's a he's a tranny. Come on, yeah. we yeah. all know that. Yeah, we saw what and happened. She to died her. two weeks yeah. later. <laughs> yeah, I know. In a routine surgery. Yeah, they killed yeah. her quick. <laughs> Bro, well, how do we know remember, that you don't have a mask? Just, 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 just remember, back in George Bush's day, George number one, George Senior. Yeah, he inter he was interviewed by a CIA agent getting a, a debriefing, and it was the same one that he had gotten his debriefings from. But today it was a girl. He's in there talking to this woman, and at the end of the mo uh, end of the the uh, meeting, she said, "Yeah, we're we're working on this, this, and this." And then when she got up, the guy reached back and pulled the mask off, and George says. Damn, I didn't realize. Yeah. He thought it was somebody completely different at the time. Come on, guys. Don't be talking about that mask thing. You would confuse people. Hollywood yeah, on, can man. make anybody uh, look every, like anybody. Goose, everybody knows about the mask thing. It's all over Hollywood. It's all over the internet. I mean, come on. Come on. It's been around. You got to give it the program. Bravo, come on. It's been around for 50 shit. years in the movies. Hey, on, Big dude. Papa. Yeah, big Papa. Do you believe in that mask replacement shit? Do you believe in that, Big Papa? You know, Big Papa is one of the longer <laughs> listeners. The I reason mean, they can get away with example. it this long is because there's people like you, you Goose, that can't. Big <laughs> Papa, he agreed with me. He don't believe in that shit. He say, F That's no. Fine. <laughs> That's yeah. fine, but let me tell you something. If you go and do the research and look at the day going clippings they got of these guys who are standing there in a group, and then they pull this thing off, and you swear it was a woman, and all of a sudden you see this guy pulling the mask off. He's got boobs. And a woman's face and hair, he pulls it off. The guy's an old bald guy. Well, we're not, we're, we're not. It's like, holy shit. I don't shit. think Goose is de denying that, you know, there's masks out right. there. But his his point is he doesn't believe that Biden, you know, the Biden is a double. And well, of course not. They, the they wouldn't oh, use the it for oh, nefarious. Oh, they wouldn't use it for nefarious reasons. It is hard to make uh, that mask. It's oh, really yeah. hard. Look at the yeah. Look at the. That's why they that created them. The it wasn't for guys. Halloween. It was the. Be, it was the fool us. <laughs> Do you really think they're gonna bring, uh, create a dumb BB like that this, guy? They don't. I mean, this guy don't even know, even know where he's at. I mean, somebody else is running our country. He just it's probably a chick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a freaking janitor. Right, I mean, too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Bravo some props here on one thing. He posted a yeah. he he posted a little video on Telegram uh with Biden there and Biden scratching his neck. And then and then the yeah. the, the, the the his skin uh wrinkled like almost I and I, I hate to say it, Goose, but like a mask was being worn. Uh, Bro, when you get to be 90 yeah. years but old, that's what I said. Oh, no, but, but no, let me no. finish. We're not, Goose, wait, we're not wait, stupid. Wait, Goose, we're not. You are stupid. like Goose, a. It took, wait, wait, five, chicken, it took five, five minutes for that damn hang wrinkle hang to get out of his you neck. We, yeah. You we have like chicken skin, man. But I yeah, like no, that. Not, but Goose, not like that. But Goose, that's exactly what I said. I said the same thing. I said, well, yeah, Maverick said the same thing the other day before he looked at it. I mean, I said, you know, he's he's pretty old, so his skin's gonna be not as Atlantic. As it used to be. Bravo! That's freaking uh, those uh, Hollywood effect. That's not really true. It's no way uh, that that pedophile half. I mean, that guy is ugly <laughs> as hell, man. I mean, he's a pedophile. Nobody can. Hey, Goose, mask it's easy. That. Goose, it's easier to create a ugly mask than a nice good mask. That motherfucker yeah. look like a Freddy Krueger, <laughs> man. Hey, hey, Bravo. Yeah. Have you seen that? Have you seen that one? Uh, that um, that was. Uh, they had a guy who looks exactly like Biden, except the ears are different and the nose is different, and the guy is a B-rate actor. Looks just like him, same age and everything, and they show him smoking a cigarette. And oh, that's Freddy Krueger right there, there. Freddy Krueger. <laughs> But no, I mean th this guy is authentic. They had him on a on a show on Rumble one day, talking, and it was uh, about four or five years ago, and he was approached to be a stand-in for Vice President Biden. 
That's how good this guy looks as far as Biden goes. But the only difference I to, is I need to see this. his freaking earlobes are different than Biden's because you can't change your earlobes from day to day. It's impossible. Right. You're born with your earlobes, you're stuck with your earlobes. You're born with your nose, you have to have surgery. What do you think about you that? Well, that raccoon, raccoon, that's really, I would like for you guys to to talk about facts, what this guy's doing to our country, why he's destroying our country. That's the, that's the whole movie, point. Man. They got a man here in Canada to destroy our country. Listeners don't want to listen to that BS. Like yeah, this. they do. That's no. why they want to listen to. Dude. Ask Big Papa. He can tell you, Jamie, too. He don't want to hear about that freaking three faces. Oh, it's, that's, that's two people out of millions. <laughs> oh, you're going to go against Jamie, one of the longer listener and Big Papa? Yeah, come, come on, they're going to go after look, you. Look, Jamie, Jamie just liked the show. Jamie just liked the show. Hey, See? Retry he likes, hey, yourself. Hey, hey, Retry yourself, Bravo. Retry yourself. <laughs> hey, guys. Something yes. you have to remember now. What did Trump tell us before he left office? He said, "Go to to the what to the Capitol no, and, no, and no, invade no, the Capitol." No. This, this, this is before the election happened. He said, "Remember, that this is good. only a movie, I, but you have to see it to believe it." Remember, remember they were asking him about Biden on one of the like I think it was Ohio he was when he was and he they go, "You know what? He's not he's not like he used to be. He's a lot slower. He doesn't." I don't. He's he's like one percent Biden right now. I mean, he was going through this whole long list of things. I mean, he, he couldn't come right out and tell us, but he was giving us the biggest hints in the world. Bravo! I want to ask you a question in front of our audience. <laughs> Did you go to January 6, Capitol Hill? Hell no! But I heard you did. <laughs> Do we believe him, Goose? <laughs> I was Goose, I, Goose you time, went with man. some old military buddies, you told me. Uh-huh. Hey. You said, you said you were standing at the Capitol door, and you almost went in, remember? Well, just say that I'm I was pretty, one of the guards. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I, I, yeah, Goose, I'm pretty sure I saw Bravo standing next to the guy with the horns, you know, and the painted face. <laughs> yes, that was him. That was Bravo. That was I him. knew it was, yeah. Yeah, he's waiting for that letter. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one behind. I, I'm the one behind that that FBI guy holding the fingers up over top of his head. Yeah, no, I was the guy on the on Didn't the person's shoulders ears? ripping ripping the <laughs> ripping the hammer out of the guy's hand trying to smash the window, saying, "What the hell right. are you doing?" And serious note, you know that is very unfair. What this government oh, doing to those God. patriots? I really bad what they're doing to our patriots. These people will do that to every freaking body. They're Not heroes. Against their guns. They're, they're heroes, Goose. Yeah. They are. They, they went to the whole house and they got and they got arrested for doing nothing. I'm right. sorry, the Capitol Hill. They didn't even they didn't even get one of the whores. They didn't even get a chance. A whole house. You know that? Yeah. It is now, guys, gotta be aware. I just gonna let you know this is just my thinking. I don't know if it will be yours, but all these millions of migrants that are coming through our border. Now you realize a bunch of Chinese are coming to our border. Yep. Okay. Yep. There are a bunch of thousands of them. So right now, a lot of our enemy is invading our different towns. So I don't know if this government is preparing to take over our country, our own government, with the help of our military, because most of them are transgender. And with the help of the migrants that came through that border from different countries to fight hey, against Goose. us. Yeah. Hey, Goose, remember. You think I'm wrong, I'm wrong about my thinking, Bravo? Or you think, uh, it... Well, the only thing is you got it wrong. They're not migrants. They're illegal alien criminals. Well, no. just the name. Just say that name. <laughs> they, they crossed illegally. They didn't go through the channels. But just right. remember, there there's at least one terrorist organization camp in every state and they're not doing it on their own time they're doing now it they're raccoon montana how like a fit of right. are the ones and, and, and bravo bravo they got many on montana and right there in the freaking back neck of raccoon they got like a fucking brigade size freaking we got haters two here there. we got two yeah. here and they're under two and, and you know what i'm so sick of everyone <laughs> saying we're anti uh, immigrant and all this shit. I, I'm more qualified to say anything about immigrants. I had six of them. I brought six of them in legally. 
paid all the money, did everything you're supposed to do. So I don't want to hear this shit about people coming Bravo, in here. but Le illegal. You're right. You're right. You're right. We don't. We are, not against, we are not against migrants. You did do it the right way. You're right. right. You don't want somebody to come from another country, and you don't even know what kind of history they got. They might be a bunch of freaking pedophiles. Right. The whole purpose you know? for the poorest borders is to let criminals in of fighting age to to. Uh, I mean, they, they were. What do you think Trump went after MS-13 so quick? They were using MS-13 as their hitmen. Hey, Especially bravo! They, why they you did They were doing bravo. assassinations for political people. Bravo! Why you don't have any Guatemala take on the MS-13 people? Yeah. Hey, bravo! They created it because right. they're expendable. You know, bravo, you, you yes. can have them do something if they get caught or shot that you don't care. Bravo. Why you didn't go to Guatemala and get one of those kids? You had to go to Germany and stuff like that. What happened? What's wrong? Why you didn't go to Guatemala or you didn't go to Honduras? Why? Do you know how hard it is to adopt people? I mean, I, I do. I have Ro Romania, Bulgaria, Estonia. I mean, yeah. I, I went to, I went to ex-communist countries. To save some children. What about Guatemala? Guatemala is on our backyard. You could get three or four of those kids. Uh, Guatemala wasn't one of the ones that were easily open back when I was doing it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hey, hey, or Goose, I would I have a question I mean, for you. Goose, <laughs> all, all my, for you. All my <laughs> kids are, are, you know, are Roma, you know, from uh, uh, gypsies and everything like that. So, I mean, yeah. Okay. Hey, Goose, I got a question for you. Go ahead, Rocco. What what island do you originate from? Island? Yeah. Uh, what what island Rico. nation do you... Puerto Rico. Okay, just okay. think about it for just a second. Okay. What if we hadn't established them as a territory of the United States? You would have one hell of a time trying to get to Miami. God damn, we're freaking smart. We knew the deal in the freaking 1900 early. We were smart. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm, just saying, them. I'm just saying, what would Puerto Rico be like? A lot of mother flowers didn't do a, that. A U.S. territory. It would hey, be like they gone. Uh, you know what? Would. If you read our history, yeah. we had a good governor that he was really more like communist, but he said, for the well being of my country, I'm going to join the United States. And that was the best yeah, decision. But what made. I'm Thank saying, you. though, is what if they had stayed an independent nation like Haiti? It would be like Haiti. You would be. No, hell no, no man. You don't know the history of Haiti. You got freaking no, I, DR, I, I, Dominican Haiti Republic. Was a slight, Haiti no, is like Raccoon, it was a you don't make. Island. Raccoon, we're going to we're gonna ban you from this show. You make a statement like that again. No, I'm, I'm not trying to make any. I'm not trying to make any. But well, let me. It's, it's okay. Let, let me. No, but let me school you. Uh, remember, Haiti and Dominican Republic is the same island, divide the center. Mm -hmm. They're being demonized. They they deal with a lot of evil stuff, and I think they, yeah. they got punished by that, and that's why that's why they never uh, freaking get ahead. And all the, I mean, Dominican well, Republic's right there. You also, together. Yeah, also Haiti's into, they're into yourself. like voodoo and all kinds yeah, of stuff. Yeah, they have voodoo, all that well, black yeah, magic, know, but, all that stuff. Yeah, you also, go out there, they call you balls and sell it for two cents, Raccoon. You, you <laughs> also have to understand that most they don't of play the islands there. there were nothing but slave drop-offs. They were no, dragged well, African bro. slaves off, like Grenada. Take Grenada for an example. But raccoon, example. you the you. Ninety nine percent of the people in Grenada are black, and their their ancestors came from Dagon uh, uh, Africa. I talked to one guy when we had our break after the battle there. He said his family's been on that damn island for two hundred years. Raccoon, raccoon, and he wants to go to America. This. Raccoon. Christopher Columbus came to our continent in the 1600s, yeah, 1643, 44. Wiped remember, out the Indians. Remember, remember, the Indians were already there. With Come diseases, on. Yeah. The Indian, yeah. Thank you, Bravo. Thank you. You studied yeah. the history. Our mix is Indian, Black, and Spanish. We got that three bloods, okay? Everybody so Puerto you're, Rico. So you're Puerto Rican uh, uh, Spaniard. Well, we got blood from Spain. From African Americans and Indians. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of so, like the Philippines. The Philippines has a heavy Spanish uh, 
influence you know? in there too. Yeah, that's why you get yeah, those beautiful. Like Asia, that's Asian. why you got those beautiful women and all oh, that kind of stuff. Yeah, now you don't get those on Haiti like we get in Puerto Rico, but they're good people there too. But they've been deal with the black magic, all kind of stuff that no other island deal with. Mm -hmm. It's really yeah. bad. And I feel bad for yeah. the Haiti. You got some. Yeah, it's funny how the Dominican Republic's like right across over the mountains, right? And in they the got yes, right? they, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. they got one of the. Maverick the, knows about uh, the and Dominican DR, Republic. And DR, DR got one of yeah. the best economy down there. They do. DR do. They do a good job. Maverick owns a right. place over there, don't you? Yeah. I'm out there. It's just like I'm pointing yeah. out, though. You know, Mexicans are are part indigenous Indians from North America and the the Spaniards because you had Comanches that went into Mexico. You had the the Mayans and the and the the uh, uh, God, I can't think of the other name. There, there's several major tribes in in uh, Mexico that got pretty much wiped out. Didn't kill all of them, but tore them up with the, with the smallpox and shit that went in there from the sailors. And then it became a Spanish colony. Raccoon, and one guy who, whose grandmother was one of the last Mayans there, and he migrated to the United States and got in the military. But remember, those, those Mayans, all those, four Indians, foot eight. <laughs> all those Indian tribes, they were there for many centuries. Yeah. You know? The ones and down in South America got wiped yes. out. One guy said, yeah. yeah, there's a big, big... Mess of Indians there. They got these nice cities and stuff. And People then back there a hundred years later said there ain't nothing there. It's all jungle. Then now they're crazy, finding it again. These crazy years Spaniels, later. These crazy Spaniels went all over South America. Yeah. The Caribbean everywhere. And they destroy everything. Just like the we Philippines. do. Just like we do. Yeah. They went to the Philippines. They went all over the world. But yeah, that's so why the Philippines are building four new bases over there and remodeling like five of them. Just, just to yeah. let you know, just to let you know, I don't give a shit about Spaniel. They're a bunch of rapists. They brought a lot of shit. They, they abuse of our women, the Indians. They, they were really bad people. I mean, well, I mean, bad. No, it's not well. You really have yeah, history. I, I read really history. <laughs> when, when the Spaniards pulled up, what, what were the Incas doing? They were like hunting their own people, carrying them up and cutting their heads off and you cutting see, their hearts you out. You see, bravo, yeah. bravo. We didn't have no freaking Incas. Of course, that's another Indian from another place, okay? We did <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, but that's when... <laughs> our Caribbean, that's why I'm telling you, you got to read our history. Did, our you ever watch that, did you ever watch that movie, Apocalyptica, by, uh, uh, yep. what's his name? Yeah, that, that's pretty hardcore, man. That's hardcore. Yeah, but our, in the Caribbean, it wasn't like that. Our Indians were some good freaking Indian, naive, really naive people. Until, yeah, I'm sure until, there was. Yeah. Until, sure there until was. Uh, because they, they believed that the Spaniards were gods, once, and then they decided to drown one of them. Once they drowned one of them, the game was on because they said, these are not freaking gods. They died just like we do. Right. And but that's how it was started. also... Also, the, the sailors that was left here by Christopher Columbus were also murdering and torturing these people to death. Remember, Lisa McQueen, that's what she did. She, yeah. just like the Cuban, they released all the freaking then with Christopher Columbus, the people in jail, because she said, he don't want to find shit. He's going to die anyway, so let's send the people from jail. And that's what he brought with him, all the criminals. Yeah. Well, I mean, the same time, the same time Christianity was coming over here, you had corporate interest, bondsmen, all kinds of yep. uh, evil corporate people coming over here where they're mercenaries. Yeah, no, I the mean, Caribbean, it was not good. The Jesuits, and the, the Jesuits Caribbean, were, were they, they used to have than warriors for the for the for the, Catholic for the Pope. Church. Yeah, the Catholic and, and Church. In yeah. the Caribbean, they, they used say, to have a lot of gold, a be, lot of gold, man. The people well, in the old Spain, days, they got a lot of. But right now, if you talk, it's very strategic. Where's the freaking Bermuda freaking triangle? You got Puerto Rico or the Atlantic. He back to U.S. Bahamas. A lot of planes. Bahamas, a lot yeah. of shit disappeared there. It's got to be something. Uh, uh, I mean, the energy talking field. About, it's an energy field. Yeah. 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 They're talking about UFOs are in there. I don't know if it's true, but a lot of people disappear in that triangle. It's a lot of history down there. And the good thing when we went to school, they teach you all that stuff. They teach you history. So you know your history. That way nobody mess with you. And you know where you're coming from. Yeah. Yeah, but history's been a lie to most everybody because they don't no. want you to know. No, the but truth. just don't look. Our DNA. Our DNA don't lie. And it's true. We're Indian, no, black, DNA and don't lie. 
and yeah. I don't lie, but what I'm saying is the stories they tell us, because I've said this many, many times. Hey, that's the United States. They're the liars. The United States no, lied to the, us. No, all, all of this. Europe, all of, history, I mean, yeah. All history that, yeah. is written by the victors, drunk or sober. I mean, they tell you that, that, that uh, our military heroes here in America were great people. But you look and at it's Custer, true. That is true. But the government here to annihilate Indians, and that's all, all he the, wanted to do. All the good things, all the good things that we did up there, the government took it back. You know, by all the atrocities they committed, all the lies and everything. I mean, when we well, I mean, in the beginning, Washington had a lot of he had treaties with them, and they they respected him and everything. Oh, I don't talk about a little bit later yeah. on when I mean, when I'm talking about from ar- Vietnam. Arrived. I talk about from Vietnam on, you know, really yeah. a lot of good people die in Vietnam that they shouldn't be dying. A lot of decisions were made that it was really bad because it was done polit- politically. And, and it's bad and it continue doing. I mean, just now we just dropped Afghanistan almost $900 billion. Where's all that money? Where's those tents, those planes? Right. When, we, when we should be going after the people that are putting in the communists into power. Thank you know what you. I mean? They're putting yeah, the yeah. communists into power so quick in all those countries right after World War II. We should have been going after those people instead of, you know, fighting well, in those countries. Under- you have to understand, Bravo, that after World War II, we were giving out money for war rebuilding. And the Chinese yeah. came to us and said, what about us? Japan ravaged our country. And Truman guys, said, we're not giving you a dime. And, and Mao guys, said, World okay, War, we'll destroy you from within. World War yeah. II was the greatest, greatest time for our country. We became the military power and the economically power of the world. And now the and focus they took it, it back. Against now the we're the worst. We're the no, worst they, they now. Work- Goose, they did it for profit. We didn't have to go around the world fighting every damn battle that came up. Well, we did it for right. profit no, we, because hey, the government Japan. controlled the damn military complex. Well, come on, Japan attacks our freaking ass. And then we heard Germany the that same time. That was a time. staged event. Right. Well, well, we're, not, Goose, we're not saying that, that, the, that, the, uh, that the events didn't happen, but we're saying they weren't organic. These were planned events. Yeah, you know, there's bang. documents that but go we, back and explain. We got, that. We got Japanese got ambassador freaking, left Washington D.C. God damn raccoon! You the almost president that day because he you, knew the battle raccoon, was going to happen. You lucky you're not speaking German today. Appreciate that these great <laughs> heroes of our country took their freaking ass and killed. Well, yeah, we did have great but heroes that fought it, but they shouldn't there. have died. We, we, we did it. Remember, here, that's what I say. That was our Tony. That was our turning point of our country where we became the top top notch in the world okay? before that yeah. hey. before that we were an isolationist country and jamie you care. agree with me yeah. that i'm wrong wrong well jamie said now we have transgenders drag queen story time <laughs> thank yeah. you raccoon and you promoted that shit for said, 70 years no i ain't promoting that he said crap. Patton would have been having a stroke <laughs> hey bro just Patton, taking consideration for like, a Hey, Goose, just take yeah. into consideration for a minute. Yeah. Hitler was a bastard child of a Rothschild because his mother was a damn uh, nanny for the kids. And yeah. he was also Jewish. Hitler was Jewish by birth. For on his he mother's was side, I heard. Rothschilds. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And we were told our nation was told you will give Hitler what he needs for the duration of the war. Not for a couple months, not for four years, but for the duration of the war. And Standard Oil, which is also ran by another Nazi family, the Rockefellers, which are German, they never had one freaking oil tanker sink to the bottom of the ocean. They were escorted into ports by submarines, by the SS submarines. Okay, same with Japan. It was to destroy the goddamn United States because we were the only experimental country in the world at that time that ran on a republic. Raccoon. Raccoon. There was always two factions. There was always two factions. We always. That's when we joined. That's why Stalin helped us out. 
The Franks the Rockefellers help us out. were indebted to the Rothschilds, and the Rothschilds always financed in their beginning to today both sides of any freaking war on that, the planet. And guys, that's why I tell you to go watch the, the movie, the last one, The King's Men, because it, it'll it'll give you that that's whole history one. breakdown. You know, it tells you that the, these are true untold events in this movie. And it's a very good movie. And it brings yeah, but you, you know all the way from Bravo. before World War One all Bravo. the way up to World War Two. Yeah. And the next one that's coming out is going to carry you through World War Two and show you how Bravo. it was done. Bravo, when you see Not Ukraine, organic. Bravo. Planned. Bravo, when you see Ukraine buying freaking oil from Russia, that tells you everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you. it does. Yeah. This is nothing but a big movie. It's called Nightmare on Pennsylvania Avenue. Joining, joining We're Danny. paying for it. Bravo, I'm, f I'm firing you, but I'm buying you shit. You see what I'm saying? Come yeah, on. Yeah, no, I, I get it. Yep. No, I get That's it. That's our government. That's our government. And yeah, they play both sides, you know? Yeah. A lot of our, a lot of that equipment we send over to, to goddamn Ukraine has already been found on the black markets around the world. It's yeah. being shipped all over the goddamn place. And people don't realize it. They just want to help Ukraine. Well, where's the feminists at? Because they literally took all the women out of Ukraine. And they told the men from the age of, what was it, 16 to 63 or some shit to stay back mm -hmm. and fight the battle. Now they're running out of people. They want us it to was a, It was a big meat battle. grinder. It was it was to grind up the, all those that generation. You know, and well, they yeah. did. The, the thing is, the thing about people don't understand, though, is if we get involved in the damn thing, it's going to last for another 20 damn years because the government is trying to hide all the shit they've been doing over in Ukraine since Ukraine became independent from Russia. Mm -hmm. It's not a sovereign country. It's a damn statehood right now and never filed with the U.N. to be a sovereign country, just like Taiwan. A lot of the oligarchs in China own companies and own businesses and have seats of power in Taiwan. Yeah, and Taiwan, right I think in the, the beginning, it was good. It fled communism, but it, it, became, another, it became just like Ukraine. This is where the deep state yeah. has been putting all their assets in Taiwan and in the Ukraine. Yeah, because you know? they can do shit there without having to worry about the world court because the governments who are involved in it will keep it out of the world court. Thereby, they can set up their bio labs or whatever the hell they want to set up in there, their money laundering, uh, sex slave, children abduction slaves and stuff like that. And nobody gives a shit about it because they're all benefiting big bucks from it. Just think about how many missing kids in the United States never get found. No bones, no bodies. Where did they go? Maybe they got eaten, but there ain't that damn many bears out there. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let me see here. Hey, Goose, you there? Yeah. Where, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Hey, uh, I want to ask you, I didn't get a chance to ask you about this, uh, that shooting in Kansas City. You know, the 16-year-old kid who got shot by the old man. Uh, yeah, he was... The, it was a black kid. He came to the house. It was like ten o'clock at night. He was he, he came to the wrong house, and apparently he, he was he he tried to open the door or something. According to the old guy, he tried to open the door, and so the old guy shot him. But um, police? Huh? You talk about the police that? Because no, I'm talking about it had nothing to do with police. This was a oh. sixteen year old black kid came to went to the wrong house. Basically, he was going to pick up his his two brothers, his two siblings, and he went to the wrong house. And uh, he rang the doorbell, and then he tried the door, and then the old man opened the door and shot him twice. It is, it is sad. Well, that's the way the world's getting anymore. I mean, you can't, you know, I mean, you all know, the crap they show you on TV and everything like that's got people paranoid to the point where they don't want to help anybody anymore. Well, and, well you know, and the thing that is, wasn't the case, Bravo. It's different, this case. It's just like Last week, too, you got a police officer got a call. They entered the wrong house. The people in the house had gone. The guy put a gun. The police killed him. 
But to see, the problem is with this one, they charge this guy. They're charging this guy with murder for killing this kid. Oh, actually, attempted murder. I don't think the kid died. Of course, they're going to charge him because that's what they did with with the freaking army guy that was doing a Uber and one of the Black Lives Matter well, protesting. I mean, but my point, my point to this whole story was is that they made it black and white, you know, because the, of course the old but guy, that's the old guy was. But that's what they're doing. But then, like but, I say, but then what happened was was two days later the same thing happened to a white girl. I don't, I don't know if the shooter was white or black, so that part I can't. Re- I, I'd have to go back and look. But this, she pulled in. She pulled into somebody's driveway. It was at night. She pulled into the wrong driveway, and so the guy, the guy fired at the car, hitting it twice, and it killed her. Um, mm. But you heard nothing about this story. You heard all this. The president, fucking Biden, invites the kid and the family and everybody to the White House because they're so upset about all this that what happened. You know, it happened to a, a young black kid, and it shouldn't happen because it happens all the time. But everybody ignored oh. the story yeah. that happened. Bro, to bro later. and they ignore. You could go on the, on the on the internet and pull up a YouTube video of about 500 different people beating up white people, exactly. black people exactly. beating up white people all day long, kicking them but, in the head, smashing guys, bricks on their head, and no one says guys, a damn word about it. Guys, what happened the other day in the Christian school with the transgender? They, bro, you don't even hear about quiet. that anymore. You yeah, don't hear, you yeah. Don't hear yeah, it yeah, no. because because they, of the fact that she yeah. was a transgender. That ended their story right there. Yeah, because like, oh, forget they it. We're, we're not, we're yeah, not doing. We're not doing also, that story. Yeah, yeah. They also That's never like, oh. brought out his his, uh, his agenda that he wrote up. He had a manifesto, and they're not. And talking they about never release it. They never did. release it. Yeah, bro. Did you That's see the video? Did you see the video of a white woman in Chicago being attacked by a bunch of black teens try, when she was trying to enter her apartment? There's like, yeah. no lie. There's like fifty or more beating up this woman. Uh, and I mean, these kind of, I, I, I try not to watch these videos because they piss me uh, off. Oh, I get so <laughs> mad when I watch so this much. stuff. Well, uh, Mari, what do you expect in this series? They're promoting that. I mean, how many carjacking they had last year in Chicago? Oh, but the new, mayor, the new mayor came out and said he doesn't fault the, the, the kids for protesting in the streets. Exactly. I say uh, that early in the show. I they mean, pick up a mayor that was worse than the one that exactly. got that was there. Exactly. They got rid of Lightfoot and they brought this other one in and he's, he's yeah. condoning the, the, the violence. That's why that they don't care about their kids because the kids are the ones suffering. They don't have no jobs, crime. You have to join a gang. You don't have no other way to survive. This is what happened in Salvador. All these MS-13 kids they were joining this game because they didn't do anything else. But now this guy got strong, stop putting the fucking hammer and he lit-